Hi, I'm Dave Mickenberg, President and CEO of the Allentown Art Museum. And what's happening in the art park today is the return to the Allentown community of two great sculptures that have been part of the museum and part of the community for many, many decades. These are incredibly important both to the history of, of um, the, the industry in the uh, Lehigh Valley as well as the history of sculpture throughout America. It is, there are two sculptures. One is the meteorological science, the other one is meteorological worker. Um, and they both portray the history uh, of um, the steel industry and the importance of the steel industry to Charles Schwab, who was the president of Bethlehem Steel and before that the president of U.S. Steel. And so um, they're back on view, each representing one, the knowledge that one learns from pure science um, and theoretical science that influences uh, steel, uh, steel mills and the steel industry. And the other one is uh, the workers who influence what is possible uh, and what we learn from actually doing um, the work. One was actually a, a, a puddler, who, uh, the model for which was actually uh, a Bethlehem steel worker who was um, sent to Paris to be the model uh, for these sculptures. They were commissioned in 1902 when Charles Schwab commissioned his house on Riverside Drive in New York City, um, and they were completed in 1903. They are the largest sculptures that uh, Jerome ever did, uh, and they were initially on view in um, the home on Riverside Drive. Uh, their return here is symbolic, I think, of the role of the arts uh, in this community, the role of the arts in the arts park, of having an arts park with uh, some really extraordinary sculptures to complement uh, the Da Vinci uh, horse off to the side, um, and the ability of the museum to present its collections to a broad swath of the community.